Anyway, sassy socialist memes. This is the Facebook page, and where else would you find such toss and uh, depression? Um, and this is the Facebook page that will definitely make you want to karate chop a kitten's head off. This is the page. If if you you know want to be pushed to the brink of doing mean things to innocent little animals, this is the place for you. So let's let's have a look. <clears throat> Asexual Joker at Saint Knives. So off the bat, this isn't really a meme, is it? It's just a screenshot of um, a, a tweet. You know, this is a sassy socialist meme, so what do you expect? I'm not an incel, I'm an incel. Do you see? As in, I involuntarily sell my labour to capitalists. Now, as my boy Marx, the OG Joker, said in Chapter 6 of Volume 1 of Capital. <sighs> this is going to be very tough. Yeah, that's videos as photos. We'll move past the, you know, let's go on to the let's go on to the main feed of it, please, right? Me arguing with bootlickers and scabs that won't join their union. Sorry, I don't speak wrong. I don't even know what to say about that. You know, my whole idea was, you know, I'd go through them and we could laugh at it, but um it's very hard to laugh at something that is so Dry, I suppose. Arguing with bootlickers and scabs. Do you think the person that put this up there? I mean, this isn't even one of their memes. This is the memes they shared from someone else. Daily reminder to join your union. Fucking brilliant. You know, do you think? I'd, I'd really hate to meet, um, you know, millennials or Generation Z people. Z, Z. Sorry. Fucking hell, my Americanism. He would go around using the term bootlickers and scabs um, and use it in a serious tone of voice. That would be quite disturbing, wouldn't it? Um, look at the comments. Solidarity forever. Fun fact, the far left push from the Democrat candidate. I don't even care. Happy 18th birthday to the war in Afghanistan. It's It's not funny still. What's this? So, two bowl-headed things. Wait! Something's wrong. I can't... Sweetie Bay, what's happening? No, wait. You have to come with me. I love you. Somebody do something. Wages. Productivity. Well, at least you're being more productive, I suppose, isn't it? We live in a economy. Now you see workers rise up. Okay. Well, okay. Well, you know. Maybe the reason why you, you're so fucking broke um, and destitute is because you can't even use proper grammar. We live in an economy. It's an economy. We live in an economy. We live in an economy. Is it? No, it's not. Live in an economy. We live in an economy. <sighs> <clears throat> you know, it doesn't matter how hard you try, does it? You can, you know, you can raise your voice. You can, you can, you know, give advice. You know, you can, you can try and speak to the people. You can try and say, hey, hey, have you thought about doing this instead of doing what you're doing? But it doesn't matter. They're all hardwired into being absolute idiots anyway, so I don't see the point. Here we go. This is apparently a meme. Don't forget that their version of memes are not memes. Working class friends, because obviously it's a screenshot of a tweet again. Working class friends, here, have all my food. I will nourish you for free, my child. Rich friends, if you use my salad dressing, can you e-transfer me 10 cents? Working class friends, rich friends. Okay, do you, do you know what's so wrong with this whole thing right here? I will nourish you for free, my child. If you use my cell address and can you e-transfer me? Do you, do you... <sighs> no. No. 
No, no. I mean, what's someone written under it? As a rich person, I love treating my down on their luck friends to coffees, drinks, dinners, etc. when the occasion arises because they are genuinely humble and appreciative people. It's the entitled fuck twats depicted in this meme that I treat like the human waste that they are. Well, you know, I think I think you're just overreaching a bit here. I mean, you know, I don't think many people would uh, try and charge you 10 cents for using a bit of salad dressing if they're rich. But I think what you're trying to say is that a rich person keeps an eye on everything. Whereas you're out there going, hey, friends, have all my food. And then your kids starve to death. But your rich friend is going to tax you for, you know, using a bit of salad dressing. Which probably means they're better at managing money. They got, you know, they they understand the meaning of money and they understand how to monitor, you know, where the cash is going, what's being used. And whereas you are just willy nilly just giving all your food away to fucking everybody, and that's why you're broke, okay? Image may contain text. What? Apparently that's a meme. So that's good. Here's a here's a meme. When it is October and everyone thinks about Halloween but not the October Revolution. <laughs> Sad Bolshevik noises. <laughs> That's such a Bolshevik meme. <laughs> I mean, seriously, just, just, just if, you were, if you were a socialist, would you find that funny? I don't know. Would you? Would you? Would you? Look how glitchy this is. Would you have to find it funny? I don't know. Traditional fall activities for the whole family. Now remember, uh, in the UK we call it autumn, not fall. Okay, it's a very silly thing to call a season. Um, I don't get it at all. I do not get a single thing about this. I guess I just have to be a hardcore socialist to like find that amusing. Well, this is apparently, again, this is apparently a meme, but it's just a screenshot of a tweet. Boss makes a dollar, I make a dime. That was a poem for a simpler time. Boss makes a hundred, I don't make jack. That's why I riot. To seize the means back. No, just start your own fucking business and stop working like a schlub. Um, Komsek Razak is, is a gay for... Sc whatever the hell that is. Ah, here we go. So, um, death was invented by Satan. Augustine. Death was invented by life. Life. Aquinas. Death was invented by funeral companies. Marx. You see, that's the kind of thing that someone would think is really poignant. You know when idiots will say, like, a statement and say, Oh, that was really poignant. That was well deep. Oh, do you see what I did there? That's what idiots would say. <laughs> Death was invented by funeral companies. And someone would go, <laughs> yeah, right, I never thought about it like that without actually thinking at all that death was never invented. It's just always been there, wasn't it? You know, they're all idiots, but Marx is the biggest idiot by far because, well, I mean, look at him. Um, I mean, even with Aquinas, with his, I mean, I don't know what this haircut is. I have no idea what's going on there, but Marx is... Clearly looks like a bigger idiot. You know, but that's the kind of thing where they go, oh, yes, did you see what I did there? <laughs> I'm like, am I clever and witty when it's like, you're not. This is, this is as bad as I remember watching Saw 3 with some guy and he, and he tried to explain to me the deep philosophical, um, you know, um, subtext behind Saw. And I was like, no, don't do that. Don't do that. That's not a thing. Anyway. So here's Charlie Kirk. Turning Point USA. Why? This intolerant Lestidist pretends he is curious about my upcoming visit to blah blah blah. He then violently unites and ties. Is that something going at Charlie Kirk? I don't understand it. Me balancing between my leftist leanings and my mother's expectations of how I should behave. It's possibly the worst... The worst outfit of all time. 
So basically, he will work for me and I will sell him his crops. Karl Marx, that's capital. Now, you see what, I see what they've done there, you see. So basically, he will work for me and I will sell him his crops. He will work for me and I will sell him his own crops. Well, no, because if you work for them and you're growing the crops for them, they're not yours. You're growing it for them. If you grow your own crops, they're for you. But if someone says, hey, can you grow these crops for me? I'll pay you so-so. Then they're not your crops. Do you understand how it works? It's not like you bought all the crops, pl you know, the seeds, planted them, blah, blah, blah. And the guy went, hey, <laughs> I'm going to bite. Like, it's not how it works, is it? You know? And look, they're having a little argument. Yeah. Is that the shit stay Nazi propagandist PewDiePie? Someone writes. Well, that's an interesting. Uh, a, uh, he used the N word like a really cool edge lord. V original too. Sean Santiago. He also promoted a neo Nazi YouTube channel. I like video games. It makes me sad that most gamers are terrible. Nathan Worrell. Tim Hodgson steps in. No, he didn't. He said he enjoyed one of their videos. He didn't know that they had Nazi references in some of their. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, that's going to go on for a very long time, isn't it? It's not the place to be uh, defending PewDiePie on sassy socialist memes, is it? Sassy socialist memes, what's the same? Leninade. Oh, a hot day, refresh yourself with Cold War. It says, oh, a hot day. That does, that's not me reading wrong. It says, say, on a hot day. Oh, a hot day. <laughs> Love those bevs. Now you see, see what I'm starting to notice quite a lot is just the the general literacy. Because let's not forget that capitalism um, boosted literacy by incredible percentages. Um, it it you know it made a lot of people. If you just look at the um, just just the charts of the increase in literacy amongst people since the birth of capitalism, you will understand why. Um, capitalism is good for literacy, but you can see with people who are socialists, like the, the literacy level, I mean, you know, it's just minor little things, you know, just a bit of grammar and, but, you know, oh, a hot day, is it? On a hot day, you know, these motherfuckers can't create nothing, you know, that's why they hate capitalism so much, it's because they can't make anything, it's like, you, you just can't create stuff that people want, you know? If you created something that people wanted, then maybe you wouldn't be such a little bitch. Moaning all the time, you know. Did you make anything anyone wanted? Even your memes no one wants, and they're for free. Some say Charmander is the best. Some say it's Squirtle. But deep down, we all know that... All oh, right. Both the Liberal and Conservative Party support the subjugation of the working class, only serve corporate interests, and their economy protects the wealthy few. See, that'd be fu that's funny. That would be funny if it was... Um, Taking the piss out of socialists, but I don't know. I don't know if they're that self-aware. That may be true, but Marx was middle class and created communism, and started a movement to protect his wealth. Was he? Well, but this is kicking right off. Marx grew up middle class, but was poor for most of his life. He he luckily was connected, so he could get his writing out there. But it didn't pay much. Didn't Joseph Morris? So, in your words. You claim he had wealth, therefore he founded communism because he wanted to protect his wealth. Hoz wealth. Hoz wealth. You see what I mean by these motherfuckers? What capital did he have? How would it be protected in communism? And what did it protect him from? And this is why social anarchy should be king. Fuck the government, says Chris Gorgon. Yeah, Chris. Let's look at you, Chris. Oh my god, what an absolute plonker. No, I haven't used that term since 1986. Tobias Bernard. Tobias Bernard. That's this guy. It's Tobias, Tobias Bernard. His name's Tobias Bernard. Or Bernard. But I'm sure he'll say Bernard. I believe that Marx thought he, that he would keep his wealth by employing a class of people that had nothing to lose and everything to gain by starting a revolution. Ooh, this, is, this is spicy, isn't it? Ooh, Marx was middle class. Blah, 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 laughing my fucking ass off. Check out the galaxy brains over this on this shit, Lord. 
Marx was middle class and made communism to start a movement. A movement protect his wealth. To protect his wealth. To protect his wealth. This is why. This is why. Fucking fuck, bruv. To protect his wealth. What are you even talking about, bro? What does this even mean? My God, you don't even know what that means? He created a communist movement. He created a communist to start a movement to protect his wealth. What does this even mean? Because you don't understand wealth. You do know that meteocracy is satire, right? No, I don't think they do. Grant Aaron Wallace, what do you mean, good sir? Meteorocracy satire, how so? Do you mean that those with more money do not have more merit, but the concept of... I'm bored now. Well, anyway, that kicked right off, didn't it? Oh, what's it going on? It goes, goes on and on. Let's get back to the meme, shall we? Sorry, I got totally segued into that argument. Without an analysis of women's status in the hierarchical system and the conditions under which she was enslaved, neither the state nor the class-based system that it rests upon can be understood. And there's a big muscle guy on a MacBook. Hmm. Cool bug facts. I mean, some of these memes, you know, memes are supposed to be a bit more snappy than this shit. Look how much you got to fucking read. Especially, do they not understand? They don't even understand how Facebook works, do they? This is crazy. They don't even understand Facebook. Facebook is actually like, oh. That's why clickbait works. That's why we're in this mess. Because he has to say, oh, cancer cure found on dark side of the moon. Like, like that. And you're like, what? But this, you just scroll. Like, no one's going to read that. The trauma caused by long-term poverty, exposure to crime, social exclusion, and substandard living conditions makes humans more susceptible to hateful ideologies. In this way, conservative policies create conservative voters. you kind of going against yourself. What are you saying? The trauma caused by long-term poverty, exposure to crime, social exclusion, and substandard living conditions makes humans more susceptible to hateful ideologies. There's nothing really more hateful than socialism, is there? Socialism is the most hateful ideology you can get because it hates anyone that's more success. It literally takes people who are poor as fuck. And there's no different to the far right. It's like going, uh, yeah, do you know why? Do you know why you're fucking shit? And why is that? Because all the fucking cans from other countries took your shit and took your jobs. You know, you're just a fucking idiot. You know. And then you got these motherfuckers just the same. Oh, do you know why you're shit? No, why am I shit? It's because of the capitalist system and the, the, the wealthy. They're fucking holding you down. We us burn them and their family. Do you know what I mean? This is why you're broke. It's, a, it's the most hateful thing going on. Anyone that makes a success for themselves, it's like you're saying, well, why can't I have some of that? It's like, motherfucker, what's wrong with you? You know, the person who looks at someone who's got a real hot girl on their arm and you think, well, why aren't I fucking her? I don't know. Ask yourself. Have a little look inside yourself why you're not fucking her. Because, you know, not all hot chicks get with hot dudes. Okay? It's a thing. And vice versa, ladies. So, do not worry. Like, you know, um, you're there just going, oh, why not? I work? Like, you're like, you're like Scarface. What are you got with I ain't got? Do you know what Scarface did? He went and got it. That's what he went and did. He went and got it. That greasy bastard. He went and got it. What's your fucking problem? You just look at you just look at everyone else going, uh, why not go where they got? Me? Uh, uh, I'm gonna hate them all and kill them in a revolution. You broke no good fuck. What is this is this is your problem. You just you're a fucking hater. I mean there's nothing worse. There's nothing worse than a hating loser. Nothing worse. Not on anything on planet Earth. Even paedophiles have got more props than you in jail. Why? Because they had the balls to do something about their urges. I'm not sure what I'm saying anymore. Right, anyway, let's go on. Socialism isn't free healthcare. Or when the government does things. Actually, read marks and you'll find socialism is about bullying gamers. Well, no, it's about creating a shared fund to pay for everyone's healthcare on the same bill that the government then subsidises. That's it. Actually, yes, healthcare is a form of oppression to the game. Are they all joking? Or I don't even... See, I'm so far out of the loop. I don't even know if these are jokes or not. 
Capitalism, you can get rich. Majority of the population. Wage slavery. I mean, look at this meme. Like, what? This this is awful. For, forget about... Look at look at the I mean look at the fonts look how it's all laid out I mean everything about this is just not just the message you can get ri rich so wage slavery is the knife he's going you can get rich majority of the population are rabbits shouldn't it be sheep or something wouldn't that make more sense I don't know I don't know or or socialist sheep aren't they I don't know but you need to like this is terrible. Who did this? God, they did that. Shit. Anyway, here's a screenshot of a post. Contribution to society, people who see torrents. Cops. This is what I hate about these people. Is they make me defend the police. Which is awful. I mean, there's nothing... I. I really despise people making me do that. I, I really do. I don't like that. I don't appreciate that. But you really think people who see torrents have contributed more to society than the police? You mean robbing industries of what they rightfully had? I mean, look. Hey, I'm going to I've torrented the shit out of probably everything. But that's because I'm a thieving scumbag. Okay. And I've seeded. I haven't contributed anything to society through torrenting and enabling torrents. Nothing. I haven't contributed anything. Not one fucking thing. Shut up. Right, let's carry on. <sighs> okay, well, it's this, um... Oh, look, it's a... It's a... It's a Ned Stark meme. Is it not a strange fate that we should suffer so much fear and doubt for so small a thing? Oh, I'm depressed. And look, Greta Thunberg and Homer Simpson as a conservative going, ah! Yeah, I think everyone's missed the point about Greta Thunberg is that no one's scared of Greta Thunberg. Everyone just thinks she's fucking annoying needs to fuck off and that's it that's pretty much it that's pretty much it obnoxious children are fucking annoying they need to go away like, bitch wants to take all our money for what for nothing conservatives it's not an exclusive because this is what i'm saying they say if you disagree with me apparently now you're a conservative or like what What's wrong with you? Fuck off. Idiot. I hate the way her detractors keep dismissing her as a child, as if she's eight years old, 16 year olds, which is, by the way, double the age of eight, because you don't know, are entirely capable of reading. They can read, researching, and forming their own opinions. Although it's super convenient how their approach of personal attacks and name calling means those detractors don't actually have to address any of her arguments. Remind me who the child is again. Greta Thunberg's the child. Sorry, I don't know why I had to add that. Like, how do you not know who the fucking child is? Ronald Reagan, dead at 93. Funny Ronald Reagan moments. I mean, really? Really? Like, come on. Jeez. Me and the comrades, when the internationals come on at the club... When the international come on, comes on at the club... No. What is this bullshit? Good Jesus Christ. The 1%, the exploited proletariat. You really don't understand anything, do you? When you download textbook PDFs and share them with your classmates, I serve the Soviet Union. Oh my God. What, what even is that? It's not a fucking meme. What is that? It's just weird. Piss off. Do not share this dog. This dog is a communist symbol. Anytime you see this dog being shared, it's from a group of secret communists. If you see someone sharing this dog, make sure you knew it's a communist symbol. Uh-huh. 
What is that? I don't know. I don't know. Do you want to continue? Do you want to continue? So I'm not. I'm not Mario in the chat. So I don't know. Gay Mary Priest. Does anyone object to this union? My boss. Wait. No one said anything about a union. <laughs> yes. And that's right. And what union is the toss wipe doing click work? Union. Uh, oh, I'm a freelance click worker. What is the what is the jobless student wankers union? What union is that? What union are you in, bro? How to prevent parasites? Mass killings of landlords under Mao Zedong. How to prevent parasites? You see, you see, you know, Facebook's like getting heavy. I mean, I think. You know, joking aside, but you think about it, if that look, just think about, just think about it for one second, would you? For goodness' sake, think. You know, you put the word parasites and lever, lever, leverage it against, you know, put it against other types of people. Um, how to prevent parasites? The, the mass killings of people, and use that as a joke meme. Don't you think that <clears throat> that could be bad? Don't you think? Like, what even is this? It's not even a meme. What is it? It's Shrek and Stalin? Or someone? What even is that? CEOs of corporations when they recycle a Coke can after dumping 200 tons of toxic waste into a river. <laughs> Isn't it, though? Because you know those corporations and those CEOs are always dumping toxic waste. That's like... I swear everyone gets their ideas about big companies and capitalism from... From crappy films, you know, like the Toxic Avenger. Toxic Avenger is a is a good film, right? but you know what I'm saying? It's like oh, oh, all the nasty big boss man's pumping toxic waste into the ocean, like you know, because these people wouldn't have any clue about what it would be to be what it means to be a CEO. Although probably their fathers are CEOs, you know, definitely not their mothers. Karl Marx spends his lifetime meticulously analysing political economy, philosophy, history, and the mechanisms of class society. Guy on the internet, human nature. I can't, my goodness, what an idea. That Why didn't I think of that? Oh, shut up. Thatcher, I'm going to close down all the heavy industry in this country, the North. What are you going to, to replace it with? Well, I hadn't thought that far ahead. Well, you're, going, well, you're licking Greta Thunberg's puss clout, right? You know, like, I mean, fossil fuels, mate. Well, you know, they can't have it either way. They're like, oh, fossil fuels are killing the earth. Oh, you, you know, you closed the mines. It's like, oh, what do you fucking want? You idiot. Do you know what I mean? The, what do you want? Australians, lol, in China, they pretend nothing ever happened in Tiananmen Square. Also Australians and the Aboriginal peoples decided to share their land and most of them magically disappeared for no reason. Right, okay, okay. I think those two things cannot be compared at all, can they? I mean, is is that a thing? I mean, one thing is just sort of going, it's sugarcoating history. The other thing is denying it ever happened, despite evidence, and removing it. You see, in Australia, they haven't removed any of that history. You can find it. It's readily available. It's all out there. But in China, if you're in China... You will not find anything about Tiananmen Square on that day. Nothing. Don't make comparisons when you haven't worn your big boy pants for long enough, okay? Or big girl pants. Shout out to my sister's teacher. Make a class logo. Don't. Do you think Karl Marx was a Marxist because of his last name? Was it just a coincidence? Right, I'm fucking done with this bullshit. Let's move on to something.